We've been here for days. Let's go. We're heading into the marina. It's one of those trips where you can see the place you're going to on a straight line, but it, you can't go that way. Oh, we are going sideways. We've officially run out of food. Surf's in pain, we'll explain later. Morning and welcome to the beautiful Harvey Bay. We're gonna take Surf to hospital this morning. New waiting room. Waiting. <sighs> I'm kind of very upset. I think it's a, a sign from the universe to slow the f down. This is Slim. Three knots on the face, skipper! I'm Soph, the skipper. Oh, and we have a fluffy crew member too. Chili. We live aboard our 1989 Duncanson 34. She may be vintage, but her glory days are far from over. We're taking her around Australia, exploring our beautiful Aussie backyard. We put new videos out every Monday, so subscribe. Come along with us. All right, well, our time here at Kingfisher has come to an end this morning. We're heading into the marina. Uh, we're going to spend a bit of time there, finishing off our exams, doing the final little bit of repairs before we head out to the reef. When I say repairs, it's not like <laughs> gnarly repairs this time. It's just a little bit of maintenance stuff and picking a few things up that we need. We've been here for days. Let's go. I'm excited to bring up the anchor. New things await. everyone this morning we are good I think <laughs> so far so good <laughs> I'm like, what? Are, we? <laughs> are we good like we're good sweet I think so I'm actually really excited to go into marina today <sighs> just yeah needing some of those creature comforts being on anchor for a while and it's just almost good to reset a little bit so I'm, I'm keen because yeah we have so much washing to do just it would be nice. It would be nice to skate, be able to go for walks, you know. You're not anchored like a mug. Yeah, so pretty keen actually. Civilization. You do miss it. You can't deny that you don't miss it. <laughs> Let's go on again. The wind generator's been like sort of just jamming sometimes. It's hard to get it going. I think it's like wobbling on its center bearing, so the blades will go spin really well and it'll put in juice and then it'll kind of like wobble off its axis and just make this horrible like shunting noise so I think I need to go write that on the list as well so we've got about a 20 nautical mile trip today um, it's sort of it's a it's one of those trips where you can see the place you're going to on a straight line but it, you can't go that way you have to go completely around an island and then back down an island to get to because it's too shallow to cut across. There's also more wind than we expected and I was like oh we probably won't have enough wind to sail but there is a bit of a breeze and now we're wondering whether we should have actually tried to get the main up. Like the head sail is looking good and nice and full and helping us along really nicely but maybe we should get the good old main up. incoming tide so we still have a little bit of tide against us but hopefully it's going to change soon and then it's going to be roaring out and we should pick up a lot of speed i think at the moment we're just sitting on like three and a half four knots going against the tide hopefully we're going to start doing sixes soon i peeled too many potatoes the other night i'm gonna throw it over the side there's nowhere good to throw it from unless i go from here what are we aiming for that island Stop pretending things 
There's a huge big sea eagle up in them trees over there. So also we've had battery problems the last couple of days going flat again, not flat, but getting in a bit low again. I'm thinking because it's coming into winter, the days are getting shorter, we're not getting that much sun anymore, and it has been a bit cloudy. Wind generator's been going on and off, um, but we don't want to turn off the engine just yet. We kind of want to get the batteries charged a bit. We struggled to get the engine to start this morning. Uh, it only just ticked over. So it'd be awful if we couldn't get it started coming into the marina. So we just want to let them run, it run a little bit longer for it to get a little bit more charged. But we could basically sail. Once we sort of get around this channel marker, we should have a really nice beam reach actually. So maybe that will give it enough time and then we'll have a go at switching the engine off. just turned off the engine. We got a beautiful breeze. Oh, it feels good to sail. I feel like we literally haven't sailed in like that long without the engine on. We've been motor sailing a lot. Even last year when we were doing this little stretch, we were just motor sailing after motor sailing and it was just like, oh, it's nice to turn off the engine for once. Fly, my little babies, fly! It's so nice sailing. It's been, it has been a while, like, we've always had the engine on, since we pretty much left Brisbane. I guess that's the thing with, like, the nice Queensland waters, like, you're way less scared of death, but <laughs> you have to run the engine, because it's, like, so much nicer and calmer. Testing to make sure that everything is working. Woo! Yes, that did make a very wet camera. I'm hoping to God that my camera is okay. So actually, like, that was a lot quicker than we thought. I think we've cut some corners. We're just gonna fill in the heady and then just turn straight. It's sort of just there, so. <laughs> Taking a little bit of a shortcut. It's kind of nerve wracking though because it is really shallow and the current's all weird and stuff. We're like, hmm. You know, when you start second guessing a shortcut decision, yeah. Pottering along now, we don't want to be going too quick in case we do give it the old, oh yeah, how you going, sandbag? Oh, ugh. shortcuts. Don't take shortcuts. Nah, we'll be right. Probably the best decision we ever made. We do it without a sail bag. So many people have sail bags on YouTube for anyone that doesn't actually sail. Sail bags are a luxury. Food on the mast. I thought it was a flag. There's so much current coming across here. I remember it from last time. Oh, we are going sideways. That catches you a little bit off guard. <laughs> We're so small. I know. <laughs> The marina hooked us into a 20 meter berth. Obviously this is double us, so we had a lot of room to play with. And also there was no excuse for me to f it up. We landed close to the end of the pontoon, but our power cord wasn't gonna reach. <laughs> so we had to shuffle her a little forward. All right, guys, look at this. We come to here. Also, we have enough room beside us and behind us for a couple more vessels. So we're considering subletting. We're so small. You can contact Chili for inquiries. We've officially run out of food. There is zero in the fridge. We're going for a skate to the shops. Chili doesn't even have food. It's an emergency. So we need to go for a skate to the shops to get Chili some food and us some food because we literally have nothing, so. Um, and alcohol. 
My little darling. I'm in best for my little fluffy chicken and rabbit. Chicken and rabbit for her. Only the best. It makes me smile just thinking of it. Yeah, he's definitely not talking about me. So, Soph's like sprained or broken her ankle. I suggested putting her on this trundle, but it's too flimsy. We're gonna hobble. I'll carry the bags. Some really, 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 really nice person saw us stack and picked us up and dropped us back off here if you're wondering how he teleported here. Anyway, enough of that. Soap's in pain, we'll explain later. Gotta go. Bye. Yeah, so I stacked it on the skatey coming down a hill with shopping. My foot got caught in a weird position and I just went over the top of it. What did I say? The first stack is always the best one? I don't know, something like that. Morning and welcome to the beautiful Harvey Bay. Um, we're gonna take Soph to hospital this morning. Given her breakfast in bed or romantic? No, because she couldn't stand up. Now this morning I'm gonna about to head up there. I'm gonna make this little snack pack because we'll probably be waiting at hospital for ages. And I'm also gonna grab a trolley that I can wheel trolley back. Wheel trolley. That I can wheel Soph back up there in. It looks like I've put on like 15 kilos overnight. So I'm pretty, I've never been to hospital before. I'm pretty reluctant to go. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of freak me out. And I, I, I'm hesitant to go because I don't think that, I never think that I'm like worthy of it. <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh no, you have to be like absolutely dying to go to hospital. I'm not dying, my foot's fucked. It'd just be great to confirm that it's not broken. <laughs> we can just get all the things at once at hospital like pain meds and maybe like power. some crutches and stuff like that because it's a bit hard <laughs> to walk um anyway come to land they said it would be fun <laughs> i was so excited to skate i was so excited to get some walks in and <laughs> uh, and it's of course when we're coming up to holidays what i'm freaking out about is whether we're gonna actually. That's why we're gonna go. I'm freaking. I didn't want to mention that either. I'm freaking out that we're not actually gonna be able to. If it's, well, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. Two weeks, like you'll be right. I went to Europe Two once weeks with a be broken fine. ACL, and halfway through my holiday, it came good. <laughs> You're. <f> <laughs> I'm off to go get Soph a trolley. It sucks because it's gonna be probably really embarrassing for her. All right, these are our options. We've got. This little guy, I reckon that'd be pretty good. You could sit in that one. I already tried this one with her last night, but she said she didn't like the look of that. But this one's looking good. Bit of a halfway point, sort of like a cage. And she could just sit in there, lean in there, one foot up, I reckon. I reckon we're probably gonna go for that. Because this one, I'm like, she could sit in there, but then where's her busted foot gonna be like dangling out the front? There's this little one, but you know, no, nah, that's not gonna work. I reckon we'll go with this metal one. I hope she feels alright about it. He the mighty the might come today. The he the mighty the mighty the might come and take. The he the might come and take away the pain. Can I like pop a squat? Right, so Soph's decided to opt for sitting in the thing. She likes this best, so we're gonna do it this way. He might come and take it all away. The heal of mighty the might bring the rain. Poor man's only once. Should I just say sorry to whoever that was that Simon just met? <laughs> Me just like yelling out to him like a crazy woman. Like, I'm in pain! <laughs> but yes, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to wave at you. We're on our way. We're on our way to the hospital. The heal of mighty the might leave you in a hurricane. A new one, new waiting room. Waiting. It's broken. It'd be nice to skate, be able to go for walks. Just be great to confirm that it's not broken. We're hoping for the moon, but <laughs> no moon boat today.
So the x-ray showed two fractures on my tibia, one on the back side of my ankle and the other on the inside of my ankle. Oh, good, Come on, keep it steady as the sun let the body Up we go. Mm -hmm. Now you put your heel on the floor to, just for balance. Take that one around the other side and away you go. Woo! And she's off. <laughs> we are in oh our final frame. So this is not how I thought I would be coming home this afternoon. Not how I thought it would, would play out. Simon's putting some laundry on. One of our like six bags of washing. Yeah. So I'm about to have my first shower with a cast on. <laughs> I've bought my essential showering plastic bag with some electrical tape. <laughs> Is that how you do it? I don't know how to get upstairs yet. <laughs> I just tried and almost stacked it. Simon said it's bad. It's ridiculous. It's like, yeah, you can tape this bag on yourself, can you? <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. That's why you've got to have a slim at all times. Get yourself a slim today. Only $9.99 from your nearest corner store. From your local slim dealership. So I'm disappointed at the least. I'm kind of very upset. We're both very upset. I didn't honestly did not expect to actually break my ankle thought it was just sprained worst case scenario I would come home with a moon boot on sort of coming to terms that it's now changed our plans I'm not I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry I'm just super disappointed that it's, it's changing our plans and we don't know what to do um, sucks we, yeah, we, it changes everything. We don't we don't know exactly what we're gonna do. I don't think it's gonna be possible for us to keep going north in um, these six weeks. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Sh uh, definitely throws a spanner in the works. Anyway, it's enough for me. A little update. A lot of things have changed in the last couple of days. It's amazing how quickly things just instantly change. Um, how quickly things happen. So. Uh, we're just gonna have to deal with it, I suppose. There's nothing we can do. <sighs> I think it's a, a sign from the universe to slow the f down. What do I say? We're... Anyway, back to editing. <sighs> we're, we're not really, we're not really in much, we're not really in much of a rush. Fuck me. So. <laughs> Yes! Well, thanks for tuning in this week. Catch us next week as the saga continues to unfold. Cast number three. I'm stress eating dry pasta. So, we've got some bad news. We'll see you then. I'd cut my eyes open. Is everything I need.